Back at it again, folks, with just another one, right? Listen, I'm dropping these appetizers, wings, finger foods, whatever you want to call. Now, check this out. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make, and really just to show you how simple it is to make, jalapeno poppers. Let's get it. Right now, you didn't see, you know, how my setup is, right? But I want to come in and make it a little bit more personal. If you guys are going to do it on the grill, I want you to check it out. Notice I got all my hot, you know, charcoal on one side. I got a water trough here, and then I got my non, my indirect, non-cooking zone, whatever you guys want to call it, that's over here. Now, when doing a veggie, you know, like a jalapeno popper, you got to be careful. If I put these over the top of this direct heat, listen, they're going to cook real, real fast and start becoming like a, like grilled like type veggie so that might not be the look we're looking for just wanted to show you this setup and if you guys want to know why i put that water in there right there that's so that i don't beat up my tray you know that heat makes everything warm now let's go ahead and prep now look the very first thing i want to tell you guys is which is crucial especially when working with cream cheese right listen you always want your cream cheese to be room temperature okay folks so look i don't want to overcomplicate this this is really more so like an idea type of video you know what I mean? Because a lot of people talk about them. We go out and spend this money, you're getting them. You know what I mean? And uh, But when you look at the ingredients, look at this. I'm seasoning with my A seasoning. You know, I got a couple of little dry ingredients here. We got some parm. And this is right here is where we're going to bring a lot of that flavor from. And that's that Italian, you know, mild, you know, sausage. So put this on here. And since we're cooking outside, why not get a little heat on it, right? Just put it there. I started off this way. You know what I mean? Because it's going to produce its own. Right? Then... We just go ahead and just put it on top. I'm gonna go ahead and start to prep my, you know, my jalapenos, right? So I just go ahead and take it, cut it down the middle like this. I'm gonna keep it real simple. Let me come over here to my trash can. Take a look at this right here. Look, just grab this. If you guys didn't notice, it's just this easy. Look at that. And there we have it, we done. Right, now I'm not gonna bore you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and just finish these up, right? Once I finish them up, oh, let me say this. If you got 10 jalapenos, that's gonna make 20, right? Cause we cutting it in half. Let me finish. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use some of my A seasoning. Look, just to wake this up a little bit. You know what I mean? Now look, that's mild, you know, Italian sausage, right? So it's gonna have a little bit of a salt, salty taste to it. So therefore I'm not gonna add no, I'm not gonna add no salt to it. This right here, just wake up, you know, the ingredients that I just put in there, you know, some of my seasoning. You guys use whatever seasoning you guys would like, but if you're looking for something that you can use like in just about all of your dishes, you might wanna try that out. I'll put the link down in the description box below. But meanwhile, now that I got this done, and I want you to pay attention. Look, by having this meat master, look at the size. Right? That's what you want. You don't want none of those big clumps. Because, you know, jalapeno poppers are not going to be huge. You know what I mean? So we got to stuff that. And all we do is just go ahead and add. From here on out, everything is like a dump and go. Right? I just want to get it all in here. Any of the residue, any of the grease that it had rendered down, we want it all. Because that's going to be the flavor, folks. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and add our garlic powder, black pepper, and our parm. I'm going to add just... You know, so much in right now. And now I'm going to go ahead and just mix it. And what makes this so pleasant is, folks, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's the fact that my cream cheese was room temperature, folks. Right? You just want to get yourself like a spoon. And I probably should have said this for you guys out there. Don't forget, man. We want to protect our hands. Because, listen, if you put these in your eyes, scratch yourself, or anything like that, Lord forbid, you're going to hate life. I'm doing it all extra careful. I don't, I should be on my third one right now. I'm doing that, you know, for you guys. But look, this is all you want to do. Okay, so look, once my coals get the way I like them, I'm going to show you guys, you can see they nice and white. They that, 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 that red, got that little glow to them. You know what I mean? I'm just going to put them, let me just put a couple more on here and I'll show you why. Everybody's not gonna have like a spin grate. And if I hadn't mentioned already, listen, yes, you can make these, you know, in the uh, inside, right? In your oven. So I got latex and I got cut resistant glove, like having cotton gloves. This is how I'm able to touch different things, you know? So we turn this and take it like this. 
and then we could just control it like that. Now what I like to do is I like to get a little char on the bottom of it, just a little bit. Don't want to make them look like poblano peppers or nothing like that, right? We just want to get these, get these going. Once I get the marks, then I put everything on this side and then I'm gonna close the lid and then we're gonna melt some of that, you know, some of that cream cheese and that parm and that's what's gonna do it. It's gonna infuse everything with the, you know, with those, uh, with that sausage. And after that, folks, we are gonna eat. Now look, I'm gonna show you what they look like on the bottom. You see that right there? That's good. That's perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on. I wanna get it up to 350. I'm gonna probably let them go for about, I don't know, maybe about 10 minutes. We just want everything to start melting and just starting to come together real nice and adhere to that jalapeno. And then from there, we finna put them in this little box and we finna eat them, folks. Cause guess what? It's game day. Okay, so I want you guys to pay attention right here. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and top this with some fine, finely shredded cheese, right? Just, just a little bit over the top. You know what I mean? This right here is mozzarella. You got to do it how you want to do it. Put whatever you want to put on the top. And then I'm really curious to find out what you guys are going to offer as far as what would you stuff you guys is with. You know what I mean? You could put whatever you would like. You know what I mean? Inside. You know what I mean? You could do bell peppers. You can do andouille sauces. You've been following me for a minute. You know I can't make no video without saying andouille. Okay, so look, you didn't see me put them in here. I'm gonna set these out, you know, throughout for everybody, you know, when game day comes, right? But these are super easy to do. And then I'm telling you guys, listen, it's really about just thinking outside of the box, right? I gave you the traditional way of just making some. I'm really, really interested in seeing what you guys are gonna do. And with that being said, let me show you the bottom of this one right here. Oh, you see that right there? Ah, yeah, jalapeno popper. Cheers, y'all. <laughs> hey, check it out, folks. You know what? I'm just going to, how do I say it? Like sometimes just simple, just works, right? And then for those of you guys that say you don't really do nothing hot, if you ever had one of these uh, jalapenos before, but after you take that spoon and you get rid of that, you know, the vein, the connection where the, uh, that little middle part was that has all of the seeds, listen, it's like super, super mild. Even your boy AB can eat them. Hey, and if you really want to know, if I'm going to give you what I think that they taste like, it's almost like having a, a meat lover's pizza. You know what I mean? Without the bread and the sauce. But it still gives you that right off the back. Jalapeno tastes more like a uh, bell pepper with like a, a mild hint of heat. Hey, with that being said, let me know down in the comment section below. Check it out. It's game day, folks. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? I'm about to eat. I'm out. Peace.